Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf King. I just got a little point to make. Okay. Here you got Abraham, the prophet of Judaism. You got Jesus, the prophet of Christianity. And you got Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. Now what do these three guys got in common, besides being related to the same faith in some sense? They're all dead. Not just physically, but in terms of their values. And that's in response to the rapid rationalization and modernization of society. Because with the technological and societal growth of society, you see a dwindling and an almost uh, repellent to their values. And not just that, and also with his with uh, with history, because you could see with the um, with the Crusades, with the jihads, you know, the bombings, the general mutilation, as well as trying to hinder on people's rights, like who they could marry, what they could actually learn in school in terms of science, the actual research, the, the essentially the progression of mankind. You see an eroding of religious cultures with the rapid secularization of the world. And you, you see this within, within the United States. I mean, 30 to 40 percent of, um, of the United States population is considered non-religious. And this is because with, with the growth of science, reason, and experience, it's, it's more or less seen as kind of ridiculous to actually adhere to this anymore. And also according to morality, because it, it's kind of ridiculous... To, to religious critics who say that, um, you know, who, who, who kind of ask this question, without a God, how can you be moral? Or without a religious preference, how can you actually be moral? Um, let's see. You actually think about the, the necessary things that would actually benefit more people in society, like, you know, cooperation, and actually, actually work and actually benefits, you know, furthering generations. These are all secular things. This is all a matter of like what benefits people more, not about not about what pleasing some um, some invisible entity or some genie or whatever. And we actually figure this out like by ourselves and actually about what the empirical data says. This is a this is a response to the rapid secularization of the world because with the with the expanding growth of knowledge amongst mankind you see more and more of these guys as you know just simple people this one actually has um has more or less uh like debate about whether he actually exists or not but that's that's besides the point the point is if you teach people to reason they shall think for a lifetime and if you teach people more or about the more about the way of the world you don't have to delude yourself with Iron Age fairy tales from individuals who didn't have a very well understanding of the world to begin with. And that's one of the reasons why I actually do this, why I actually blog and actually talk about this, you know, to actually bring in some rational thought. Because the fact of the matter is, the only reason these individuals actually thrived during their time is because we didn't have a good understanding about the world and the way it worked. However, now with the growth of science and education, we do. And I encourage people to actually learn and use free thought and actually use logic and reason and actually come to very good, very well-reasoned conclusions so long as they have very good empirical evidence to back them up so they can become more enlightened about the world for themselves. Because I have a belief, if, if we actually... If we actually build our understanding to what we could actually observe and experience in the real world, we will come to enlightenment. Dare to know. That is the motto of the enlightenment. So, let's throw away these guys. And figure reality out for ourselves. This is Wolf King. Peace out.